Greetings Unify friends. I wanted to make a quick video walkthrough of the discussion topic we had in the forum about the Unify Macron Ops MIDI control and how it maps to the plugin and specifically in the context of how this can be used to map Falcon 2 plugin macros for the Falcon 2 unification. Falcon 2 is a plugin from UVI, third-party plugin that we're trying to unify the patches for. So the first part of this is the unify thing, right? That you have these macro knobs. You have to click this button in order to, to show them if you just start unify. They have me or can have MIDI assignments. So in this case I map them to my Nano Key Studio. I have little plastic knobs here when I turn them. So my knob number one sends out a CC14 and I can configure that on the Cork Nano Key app. I think it's controller editor. And then I can sign MIDI CCs on the hardware side and then in Unify of course I can say MIDI learn whatever it is, right, or assign number if I know it's 14 or I can just learn it. So for example, if I take a fresh one here, I can say MIDI learn, I turn the knob on my controller and then it picks up the 14 but let's go back to the already assigned ones. I picked these numbers because they also on, on my native instruments complete control keyboard those are the default assignments so just chose those numbers I guess it doesn't really matter. The other thing is so I have Falcon loaded here as a plugin. The second part now is the Falcon specific in order for mapping a macro and unify, which you would do through link parameters, you can only see what gets exposed. You see in Falcon by default everything's called host automation, they're empty slots and you have to assign them first. I already did this work earlier and this is a template I sent out in the forum. I'll show you in another video how I set this up, but this one focuses just on how to use it for the unification of Falcon uh, patches. So each of those macros has a host automation assigned already. I did this in the template. This is the part that should save you guys the work when you unify Falcon presets. Each of us see the number here, ID3 is different. So what that leads to now, I, I turn a knob on my hardware controller. In unify you see the macro moving and you see the corresponding macro moving up here too. Now that they're both called macro one, two, three, that's a coincidence. You know, UVI Falcon calls them macros and Unify calls them macros. It's just a common sense term, I guess. With a soft synth. When I change the name here, it doesn't necessarily change. So the real value is what I just discovered today is if you now take a here's the sound banks from Falcon. It's basically all the presets that come with Fa Falcon or if you purchase additional sound banks. So I'm in the Falcon factory sound bank. I drag this preset, this program, over into this frame. And what this did, even though visually it changed, the user interface changed, it inherited all the assignments. See, ID 1. These are already pre-mapped. This is usually not the case because this is why this is important to not drop this on the other side. You have to drop it into the box because if you put it here, they're not assigned. You have to assign it, right? So you'd be careful that you actually drop it into this existing box. And now if I can change the MIDI controller knob here, it's automatically assigned. This this is what I discovered today, that if you create this template, because now you can say, okay, uh, this is called Blue Vibe. I say save. Save as. I already actually have that here, right? And then you go to the next one, let's say you're on the unification, you drop this one in here, and again, it's counterintuitive, these are knobs and this is a switch, but... So the knobs, they're not in the most intuitive, they're not mapped in the most intuitive way, see how my knob number one goes to the second button, first one. So this is a preset specific, you know, non-existing <laughs> logic. But you don't need to manually assign the host automation for each preset that you load. That's what we have been doing and it was super tedious. So you go in there and now you would save this as, you know, cityscapes, whatever you want to call it. And some of you guys seem to have an automated way to take over the names. You know, somebody did like over a thousand on the weekend, so there must be a way to automatically create the names. More power to you if you can do that. And if you could share the, the way with the community how you did this, 
if we have questions of sharing the actual unified presets, if that's not being clarified from a permission standpoint, it'd be cool to share the method, how you got it done that fast. It might be useful for others. And let's say now I'll go to Dark Knight. There you go. I already have the button is still mapped. Host automation is still already mapped. See? And there you have it. Just drag one after the other. You don't forget to save your actual preset. And if you want to fine tune it, right, you can you can still change the mapping, but out of the box it comes with up to the 16 parameters that I pre-mapped in the template. And it's already connected to Unify and Ops. You don't need to go in here. So the steps that you save is you don't have to assign host automation and you don't have to assign this. This has to be done the template. The one little gap this leaves is that these names are generic. It's still called macro here. It does not take over the name, but it never really did this in the first place because let's say I map layer one level here. No, not this one. Dang it. Instrument number one, Falcon. See now well, I guess it still says macro one. Oh, interesting. Because earlier it would take over these names. You, you would see that in the assignment. In the assignment, you could tell that macro 3 would be called layer 3 level. It would take over these names. Okay, that's another little gap, so you don't see the actual names in here. But this part, the old method didn't do it either, so you still have to name that. That's not very intuitive that it says macro 1. It doesn't somebody will still have to do the naming or find a method to automatically carry those names over. But either way, the it takes a little bit tedious away doing these assignments in bulk up front, and then you can just fine-tune them to your liking in terms of naming or, or sequencing. I hope this was helpful.